reading from Isaiah. And this week's weather from August. But first, we're going to tell you about Bot Day. Bot Day will be held on February 22nd. All grades are welcome to come to Bot Day. During Bot Day, there will be different stations, each having its own bot. There will be six different bots. I hope I see you at Bot Day. Now we have an interview from Isaiah. Hi Huskies, today I'm going to be interviewing Miss Morley. So my first question is, do you think it's fun to teach the AIP? I think it's so much fun. We have a lot of fun in there. We do um, a lot of really cool stuff, but a lot of the same stuff that you guys do every day, like math and reading and writing, um, just kind of in a little bit of a different way. Cool. Is it challenging to teach the AAP? Sometimes, pretty much how probably most teachers feel. Sometimes we don't know how um, to kind of teach a certain thing, but I have really great staff in that classroom and a lot of awesome people that help out. So um, it makes it really easy. How long have you taught AIP and have you always taught AIP? So I've been at Heritage Lakes for four years teaching AIP. Um, before that, I taught high school for four years at a school called Glenwood. Um, so this is, I've only been teaching AIP for four years. Why did you pick this job and not being something else? Um, I always wanted to work with kids. And so um, when I went to college, I kind of volunteered working with some kids um, with some special needs and I loved it. And so that's what I went and did my major in. So I kind of thought that that was a sign to go into special ed. What does AIP stand for again? Assistant Instructional Program. Technically they call them SAC classrooms now, but we still go by AIP. Did you have to go through a certain amount of years of college to be able to do AIP or did you just have, you didn't even have to do college? Um, I went to college, uh, I went to ISU, go Redbirds, for four years and I majored in special ed and um, so that kind of encompassed everything. So I was able to teach a classroom like an assisted instructional program um, with that degree. Okay. What do you like more, tea or coffee? Coffee by far. Can't live without my coffee. Do you hate it when you have to wake up in the morning to work at school? Some meetings and others? I'm kind of a morning person, so I don't mind waking up, but my bedtime is always really early. So I go to sleep really early, but I like to wake up. I don't mind waking up early in the morning. And that was my interview for Miss Morning. Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you, Isaiah. That was an awesome interview. Here is the weather from August. Hi, Huskies. Next week's forecast is on Wednesday there will be morning snow showers and a high of 45 and 34. Um, and um, on Thursday it will be partly cloudy and a high of 43 and a low of 32. On Friday there will be rain slash snow um, and a high of 38 and a low of 30. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy and a high of 37 and a low of 29. On Sunday, it will be partly cloudy again with a high of 37 and a low of 29. That's the weather for this week, kind of huskies. Thank you, August. Now I'm prepared for this week.